how to crochet the leaf hopper stitch. For this stitch, you'll need a crochet hook and a ball of yarn. Special thanks to our sponsor, UU, for providing today's yarn. Today we are using their woolly worsted washable 100% merino superwash yarn. For this stitch, you'll need to know the following techniques. Chain stitch, double crochet, leaf hopper cluster, which is a special abbreviation we will explain in this tutorial. For this stitch, you'll need to make a foundation chain in multiples of four plus one, and we'll add two for the base chain. Row one. We will begin on the wrong side by skipping three chains and doing a double crochet into the fourth chain. One, two, three, and right here. Then we will double crochet into each chain stitch all the way to the end of the row. Row 2. After we have turned our work, we're going to begin by chaining 3. And we will skip the first stitch and do a double crochet into the next one right here. Then we'll begin our repeat by doing a leaf hopper cluster. So what we're going to do for that is yarn over. We're going to insert the hook in the stitch before around the post and then draw through a loop draw it up nice and high I'm going to do that again yarn over Oop. yarn over draw it through nice and high then we will yarn over and draw through four of the five loops left on our hook then again we will skip this stitch here and we'll do the same thing in the next one here. So front to back, yarn over, draw through, yarn over, draw through, and again, pull through the first four. Now we have three stitches left on our hook and we'll draw yarn over and draw through all three of those. Then we will continue by doing a double crochet into the next stitch, which is actually the one that the uh, the leaf hopper cluster is wrapped around, so we'll go into the top of that stitch where you can see it right here. And we'll do double crochet into the next three double crochets. I'm going to show you that one more time. This is the leaf hopper cluster. So yarn over, yarn over and draw through, lift up, yarn over, yarn over and draw through, and we have five, and we'll yarn over and draw through four, now the same thing, we'll yarn over, stick it through there, yarn over and draw through, yarn over once more, and draw through, and draw through four and then draw through those three and then to end our row we will do two double crochets instead of three into the one that we just finished right in here right there and our last one our last double crochet will be into the top of the turn chain right there. And we can turn our work. Row 3. We'll begin by chaining 3. Then we will skip the first double crochet here and do a double crochet into the next stitch. And we'll continue by doing a double crochet into each of the stitches all the way to the end of the row.
And when we get to the end of the row, we'll do our last double crochet into the turn chain of the row before. Right there. Like so. And then we can turn our work. Row four. Once we have turned our work, we will chain three. We'll skip the first stitch and double crochet into the next three stitches. So two double crochets and three. And that will begin our repeat. Then we will do a leaf ho leaf hopper cluster. So around that one stitch just before that we just finished working into on the front post twice. So we have five loops and pull through four. Skip the next stitch there, and we'll do the same thing around this post right here. One. And two, pull it up and draw through four. Now we have three left. Yarn over and draw through those three. Now we reach the end of the row. We will double crochet into the last four stitches. So when we worked here, we got that one right there. One. Two, three, and our last double crochet will go into the top of our turn chain for four. And then we can turn our work. Row five. We'll begin by chaining three, and we will repeat row three by double skipping one stitch and double crocheting into the next one and by doing a double crochet into each of the rest of the stitches all the way to the end of the row. So we will repeat rows two through five until we have reached our desired length. And that's how you crochet the leaf hopper stitch. After a few repeats, your pattern should look like this. Want more news today? Join our VIP email list to get every stitch directly to your inbox. Sign up today at newsitoday.com/vip.